Hello and welcome back to our channel. My name is Anne and I'm one of the tutors at Langford International Academy. And today I'm here to help you with OED speaking subtest. So don't worry, we are here to help you. Langford International Academy, your passport to the world of opportunity. In OED speaking, you have two important skills to display. One is empathizing and the other is reassuring. And here, I'm going to help you with some sentences which you can use to reassure your patient. But before we go to that, I would like to tell you what reassurance is all about. Reassurance is an action of eliminating one's doubts or fears. And this can be done with words of advice and words of comfort. So when you do that, the person who's listening to you will feel less worried or less upset. This is different from empathy because empathy is the ability to understand the other person and also share their feelings. It's also an ability to imagine what someone might be thinking at that moment. So coming back to reassurance, as I told you, it, ha it is to help the person feel less worried. And this is where you would use the cliche, don't worry. Now using don't worry frequently would sound quite monotonous. So let's see what we can do other than, or what we can say other than don't worry. So you can use something like this. It's not as bad as you think. So if I put it in a sentence, I can say, Mr. Henry, it's not as bad as you think. The wound will heal soon with the treatment. Another one that you can use is, take it easy. It is going to be okay. Or you can also say, keep your mind at ease and everything will turn out right. You can come up with, with another sentence saying that, I would like to assure you that you will get the best possible treatment from here. Another one, let me reassure you that if you follow the advice and instructions given, the possibility of future problems can be greatly reduced. Another one, I would not worry if I were you. And the last, we will do everything to give you the best treatment possible. So this, these are some of the sentences that you can use instead of don't worry. And I hope you would be able to improvise on it and use it appropriately in your interaction with your patients. So that's it for now. I will see you again with another video with something more. Till then, it's bye from Anne and take care.